NSFW sex workers of Reddit, have any of your friends wanted to pay for your services? How did it turn out? Cam girl here. I've had friends buy my videos and quote them to me in public. It became a sort of joke, but was also very embarrassing at the time. Also a weird one, but my first cousin tried to purchase a custom video from me, on Christmas Day. Very very gross. Roll Tide. I work as a stripper at a nightclub. My neighbor came in one night and saw me spreading wide and he didn't expect to see me there. One thing led to another. Next morning I woke up in his bed and he was a virgin the night before. I had the reverse happen to me back when MySpace was a thing. One of the hot girls from high school became a prostitute and used MySpace to solicit old classmates. Last I heard, one of those classmates' wives kicked the living shit out of her after setting up a fake session. The next reunion should be a blast. My ex was a famous webcam star on Chatterbait. He actually became real-life friends with his highest bidder some creepy 40 yo millionaire living in the California hills. He still visits him once a year and the guy pays for everything. Oh he met a sugar daddy. I believe he goes by fructose father. Glucose guardian. I dated a girl who was a Yahoo cam girl probably 15 years ago. I remember she got paid crazy money. One guy would pay her whatever her rate was per minute just to call her and talk to her about his day. He didn't even want anything sexual. He just thought she was really cute and sweet. I remember she said the number one thing most guys asked her was to stick things up her ass. Not sure why that was so common, since it does nothing for me. She ended up getting a collapsible dildo so that it looked like she was showing this huge thing up her ass. But there was no penetration. I remember she made more working a few hours per weekend than I did working 9 to 5. She ended up getting married and I lost touch with her. Definitely some hilarious stories. I am shocked to hear there's any money in this stuff nowadays with so many free porn sites just learned about collapsible dildos. I thought I knew it all. LOL. Former sex worker. I've had friends who have found my videos online and mentioned them to me. If they are my friends I don't usually care as I'm not very secretive with my past. However I have been working in restaurants for a couple months now and one of them I quit because the entire kitchen staff watched them and was trying to get me to do things for them. Most of the time for free too. The one after then only one of the kitchen guys found out. He was okay with and wasn't weird. But then a customer recognized me and told my manager. Manager was a huge bitch and made some excuse to fire me when she found out. Now I have a nice office job and dress very professionally so hoping no one finds out. It makes me angry that other people care so much. Like you were watching it. What makes you any better? Former male stripper. Here does that qualify? I'll assume it does. I originally started stripping for friends bachelorette parties. So yeah my friends paid me for my services. Did sex happen? Sometimes it did. Those particular friends were friends with benefits at that point. A girlfriend of mine's sister wanted me to have sex with her. I refused. Then she offered to give me a clarinet in exchange for sex. Still have the clarinet. I'm a sucker for musical instruments. Edit. The sloppy second-hand clarinet has been sold to a fellow Redditor. I'm a little sorry to see it go. But I'm glad it's going to someone who can use it instead of sitting collecting dust. It's got quite a story behind it. A guy the first knew through the local kink scene booked me for a threesome with his girlfriend. I was a bit apprehensive as he knew my real first name etc but it was a really fun night and we've stayed in touch since. I do have a good friend ex-fuck buddy that I stopped seeing when he got a girlfriend but he obviously can't handle monogamy. He ranges from hinting to just outright asking me how much it would be for a blowjob. He was great in bed and I could do with the spare money but I've met his girlfriend a few times and I just can't bring myself to agree to it knowing how sweet she is. I was dancing for a while after I got out of the military and one night one of the people I worked with came in and asked for a dance admitting he always wanted to see me naked. He paid. I gave him a dance. He was shocked and ecstatic to see my pierced nipples. And that was that. Former sex worker. I had a few friends who found out what my night job was and asked for sex. I was attracted to a few of them and I hooked up with them for free. I had a few others want other services and I charged them. I love this. Hey John. Wanna have sex? Sorry Hank. 
for you it's 50 bucks. But it was free for George. Look in a mirror, Hank. They say that when you work in the trades plumbers, masons, etc. Friends and family always ask you to do your job for free. As a carpenter all I can say is if you're going to ask someone to do their job for free the least you can do is buy materials, liquor and offer to lend a hand. Throw away account of course. I used to work as a male escort, though I went in with the intention of dating wealthy women. Almost every instance was with men. I'm not a homosexual, but if someone was willing to pay me dollar 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 to give me a BJ, I quickly learned how to close my eyes and think of someone else doing it. Anyhow, all of my ad photos are of my body, no face. So the guys who made appointments really didn't know who I was until we met. Long story short, someone I knew made an appointment. First, I didn't realize he was someone I knew until way too late. Second, I didn't know he was gay. We both kinda played off the event. He seemed way more distraught than I was. Every time I would run into him would be crazy awkward. I am no longer is the business but it practically paid for my undergrad study. I haven't seen the guy in over 15 years. How to be a male escort. Face and personality really doesn't matter. I happened to be blessed with good genetics so was able to charge more. Work out and have a nice body. Abs. Pecs. Shoulders. Arms. Ass. Have an above average sized dick. Then, advertise yourself. Just Google search. There are plenty of methods nowadays. It's that simple. It was much harder back when I did it. I was lucky to be living in a city that already had available channels. Why do gay men want to service me rather than the other way around? Yes. Service meant I would f*** these guys too after they would give me a BJ. More than half of the guys I saw seemed to be in the closet or much just older. Plus, I laid pretty explicit ground rules before it all started. I'm sure there were guys out there that allowed themselves to be f***. If the guy wanted that, he would have not picked me in the first place. Most people take the path of least resistance. Yes, I have fought off a few guys. See number one, work out and be ready to throw punches if necessary. Also helps to be six, eight. Have I been raped? Luckily no but have had some very scary moments. How much were sessions? It depends on how much you think you are worth. For me, $500 to $10,000 depending on time and what was involved. I wasn't super busy doing this. It was all part time. I developed relationships with regulars who would splurge down the road. Best regulars were the ones who fell in love with me. I quit the business soon after I finished my undergrads. I then used the money I saved to also pay for my graduate studies. No student loans. Yay. I still have a big chuck of that money in my savings account for a rainy day. Not gay. Yes. I don't consider myself gay. I had a very normal sexual appetite in college for women. Having a huge secret like this made it very difficult to keep relationships with those women though. Haven't been with a man since I left the business over a decade ago. Quite terrified of running into someone who would recognize me from those days. Had to move to a different state. Grew a beard. And made new friends to feel normal. Now a working professional and married with kids. Closed my eyes. No, not literally. Most guys like that eye contact. However, I would just daydream of being somewhere else or with someone else. After a while, you get numb to the act. Actually a ton of people I've known from high school have purchased my video library etc after finding my selling posts here on Reddit. I just kind of never bring it up again. If they change the way they treat me, I cut them out. But if nothing changes, hey, can't blame them. Sometimes, you want to f*** a friend where it isn't a good idea to actually do it, etc. Former sex worker. Yes. They tried. They would try for some kind of friend discount which I was not about at the time. I was hooked on heroin. I had zero interest in sex so performing for subpar wages was not going to happen. OMG. You sent me clean syringes one time years ago. You're one of the many reasons I never got hep C or anything. I am three years clean now and haven't thought of you in a long time. So happy you're still around doing God's work. You're the best Tracy.
current Reddit only sex worker. Actually, instead of wanting to pay for it, I've had some wanting my content for free. It's a little awkward, but I don't mind too much as long as they don't talk about it and don't watch anything with me around. I may or may not have recently given someone some videos in exchange for them scooping the litter boxes in my house. I've had a few friends who were interested in doing so but in talking with them, it became clear that they didn't want to pay at all, wanted a friend discount or wanted to pay with something else other than money. Nothing happened in any of these cases and then I had a friend who was interested because he wanted to lose his virginity. He actually backed out of it on a couple of occasions which I put down to nerves. Finally went through with it and it was fine. It happened and we're still friends. As a non-sex worker, I am surprised at how little money it would take for me to have sex. How much in slushies? Excuse me sir, I may be a sex worker but I have a little more respect for myself than that. I only accept gas station rewards points. Former sex worker, yeah, some cook I was acquainted with at a bar. He ended up trying to pay me in gas station rewards points LMAO. Other friends had asked but I was never comfortable with the idea. I eventually cleaned up my act and decided to take a job in a factory. Soon after, gas station rewards boy started working in the same factory. Hilarity ensued. He continued to harass me daily, asking for sexual favors while I tried not to lose my appetite at lunch. He told co-workers what I used to do. That was fun. I was telling some women about the children's book I was writing and one of them interrupted to say yeah, but weren't you a prostitute? Yes. Carol. I was. I'm not writing Anne of Peen Gables or oh, the places you'll ho or anything. Best part is that all the women were creeped out by him, especially since he was very secretive about his name and wasn't allowed outside in the daylight. Detective Hooker was on the case. I found his full name and did a quick search. Turns out he was on the sex offender registry for creeping on an underage girl, luring her into the woods, and assaulting her. Our workplace was near a school zone, which that's why the rewards points vampire couldn't be seen outside. Good times.